What's going on guys, Dennis Anthony here, and I'm gonna tell you one of the most major reasons why you are failing when it comes to entrepreneurship and your online business, whatever your online business might be that all of the gurus are not telling you. So if you are on this video, it's because you kind of want to know or you are, you, you know, you're starting an online business and, and you're kind of trying to figure out why it is that you're failing. So the number one problem why you're failing is is focus, okay? It's time and it's focus. So I don't care what it is that you're doing, whether you're doing Amazon FBA, whether you're doing e-commerce or drop shipping or you know, real estate wholesaling, whether you're trading the stock market, whether you're um you're you're running an agency or a consulting business or you're a freelancer, whatever it is that you're doing, it doesn't matter who you're getting your information from. So a lot of times when you're you know you're on your entrepreneur uh, you know, your, your, your juices are flowing and you're ready to start your own business and, and you're ready to get going. You know, you're jumping from guru to guru. You're jumping from, you know, tactic to tactic from business to business. So you never really have clear focus when it comes to what it is that you're doing. And, you know, if I just bring up, um, my whiteboard here, I'm just going to draw Oh, what's going on here. So if I'm going to draw, let me fix this color here. If if I'm going to be completely honest here, whoa. Okay, focus. This is going to look a little janky, but bear with me here. Focus and time, okay? So I don't really care what business that you're in. So let's say, for example, you're in the e-commerce space and you paid, you know, XYZ, Mr. 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 Allen and Allen has a course on, you know, how to be, uh, or how to start your own e-commerce business and you buy this product and then you go through this product and then you come across, you know, uh, Mr. Larry and Mr. Larry is selling you another, you know, tactic or strategy on the best way to start your, e your e-commerce business. So your focus is all over the place. Okay. And your focus can be all over the place for a number of different reasons that we're going to get into in a second here. But one of the main reasons here is that, you know, social media, I'm just going to draw an SM, okay, TV for television, Netflix, so forth and so forth, and hobbies, okay? I'm just going to draw hobbies, okay? So we're going to say here that you sleep eight hours a day. We're going to say that you have a full-time job of eight hours. That's going to be 16 hours in the day, meaning you have an additional eight hours to spend on your business. So the problem that you have is that you're spending two to three hours on social media. And then after you're, you, you know, you're going through YouTube videos and you're going through this Instagram page and scrolling through this TikTok video, so forth and so forth. Then you're, you're, you're jumping on the couch and you're watching two to three hours of TV a day. And then maybe you, you know, you're doing a hobby for another hour. And then obviously we have to eat here. So I'm going to just draw an F for food. And let's say that, you know, the combination of making breakfast and making dinner and running around with the kids or, you know, driving to that fast food restaurant, let's say that takes an hour of your day. Okay. So realistically, this is two to three hours. Now you're looking at four to six hours, seven hours, eight hours. If you only have eight hours of free time in the day, where does the focus come into where you can actually work on whatever it is that you're working on? OK, so, you know, there's been a lot, a lot of studies on, you know, normally it takes 15 to 20 minutes for someone to get in a rhythm, someone to get in a groove. So let's say you do allocate an hour to two hours a day to work. It's real. Connect to your Wi-Fi network. Thanks, you Alexa. Set up instructions in the help section of your Alexa app. Thank you. Realistically, it's going to take 15 to 20 minutes to actually get focused on that actual work. And then during that hour or two hours that you quote unquote are saying that you are working, you are picking up the phone and you're scrolling through Instagram or you're scrolling through YouTube and then you're coming across this page and you're watching this video and spending 10 to 15 more minutes doing that. So realistically, when it comes down to it, let's say that one hour or that two hours that you are actually, you know, trying to focus and allocate your time into your business, you're realistically only doing about 20 to 30 minutes a day. 
And the problem that you have is that, you know, you do this two or three times a week and then, you know, maybe a month passed by and you don't really see the results when it comes to your Amazon FBA business or your real estate wholesaling adventure or, you know, your day trading uh, in the stock market or whatever it is that you're doing. And then you get burned out and then you quit. So 95, it's probably closer to 90. Eight, but let's just say 95% of people fail because they lose focus, okay? So when you lose focus, now you're not dedicating any time to whatever business you're doing. Like I said, it could be anything. It, 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 could, be, it, it could be anything, okay? So how you uh, start eliminating you know, these things and actually start being productive and actually start making money, whether you want to make, you know, $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month or, you know, $100,000 a month, whatever it is that that you you're set the goal that you're setting for yourself. First things first is you have to eliminate the social media. Okay, you have to eliminate the social media. And even if you know, you're running an online agency where you know, you're, you're doing social media marketing and advertising for companies does not mean that uh, you can't do that because you're eliminating social media. Your personal social media needs to be limited to almost nothing. I mean, if you can turn off your phone for three hours a day and actually work on your business and put forth the energy towards your business, you are going to see exponential results off that TV watching Netflix needs to go. Okay. It, it just, it just has to go whatever hobby that you like. Let's say you like to golf or let's say you like to fish, or let's say, you know, you like to go to the bar after work and, and drink a couple of beers. And that turns into one or two hours af after work, whatever hobby that you consider yourself, you know, you know, gravitating to, you have to give it up just due to the fact that, you know, if you really want to be successful and if you really want something to work, you have to have the mental clarity and the energy to actually be able to focus and do those things correctly. So at the end of the day, it really doesn't come down to, you know, what this person is teaching you or what course you bought or what strategy you're using for, you know, uh, Facebook ads or Amazon FBA. They all work. What's not working is your focus. So when you don't have focus and you don't have the time because you're not making the time, you're never going to see the results. Anytime that you start a business, nothing happens overnight, okay? Uh, you know, it takes a lot of hours. And the difference between someone who is very, very successful and someone who is not successful is that the successful person was putting in countless time and energy and, and focus into whatever it is that they were doing longer than someone who, you know, does something for two or three months, has little to no success, and then gives up and says that this tactic didn't work or this online course is is not reputable or this is a scam or that's you know not made for me i'm not lucky enough um you know or this person is just lucky or this person has these connections maybe maybe that's true maybe some things do break down to being in the right place at the right time or having the right connections you know or you know the right relationships with people but if you are not dedicating two to three hours a day of actual work, whether that be working on your website, creating content, whether that be working on your YouTube channel, creating videos, whether that being uh, doing, you know, editing on Photoshop or whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, whether that be doing product research, if you're involved in Amazon FBA and trying to find, you know, the best possible wholesaler and, and distributor and, you know, trying to get your 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 shipping prices down and, and what, you know, so whatever it is, if you're a real estate wholesaler, spending more time and more countless hours on the phone, making those phone calls, if you don't find the focus and the time to do that for an extended amount of time, consistently, you will never be successful. And that's what, you know, the average make money online or entrepreneur, you know, guru is not telling you. 
they will sell you a thousand dollar course, a ten thousand dollar mentorship, a fifty dollar monthly membership, which works. But if you don't put in the time and the focus and eliminate the the things that are draining your mental equity, like social media, every time you pick up your phone and you start scrolling through YouTube or scrolling through Instagram, it's just giving you an immediate dopamine uh, hit to your brain. So it's telling your brain that, you know, this feels good. I like looking at this person make this much money. I like looking at this girl's Instagram page. I like looking at, you know, what this person did. I like, you know, that this person is in on vacation in the Bahamas. I want that. All that's doing is taking focus away from what really matters. And at the end of the day, what really matters is putting in the work. So if you have eight hours to sleep and you currently work a full-time job, that's currently 16 hours. These eight hours, of course, if you have a family, you need to make time for your family. You need to make time to eat. Obviously, you need to be healthy. I would I would take 30 minutes to an hour to exercise because you know exercising is really going to allow your brain to function at a high capacity. So let's just say you you have two to three hours in the day. Those two to three hours in the day, the phone needs to be turned off, the TV needs to be turned off, and you need to sit in front of the computer, sit in front of your phone, sit in front of or sit in front of um, whatever it is that is going to relate to your industry or your business, whether that be making cold calls or you know, working on a website or creating content or editing or whatever it is, you know, what that you're doing. If you don't actually sit down for two to three hours, seven days a week and work until you start to roll that snowball up the hill. And as you're rolling that snowball up the hill, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you get to the top of that hill where the snowball starts to roll automatically on itself to where you can outsource a little bit of things to free up, uh, free up your time to maybe focus on another aspect or, or part of your business until you get to that top where you see results start to come in, you know, whether that be, if you're looking to make $10,000 a month online or $10,000, you know, every day or whatever it is, you know, looking at the dollar amount is not going to, not going to do anything. So until you get to that point, you have to be focused. And if that means to eliminate, you know, negative energy and relationships that you have, maybe, maybe your, your circle of friends is, you know, taking away too much time from this eight hours. This eight hours is key. If you have eight hours left and your friends are taking three hours a day, or three hours on the weekend to go to brunch and have, you know, drinks. That's three hours you could be spending focusing on building your business. Until your business is grown, until your business is fully functional and automated on its own, none of your time and none of your energy should be focused on things that don't matter. At the end of the day, what matters is growing your business. What matters is being productive and what matters is staying consistent. And that's the thing that people don't understand. So it doesn't matter what product you buy or who you learn from, whatever information that you absorb and whatever tactic and strategy that you develop and obtain, you have to actually now put in the work. I can sit here and tell you how to you know, day trade stocks to make an extra hundred dollars a day or try to make put yourself in the best possible position to make a thousand dollars on your next trade. But if you don't actually understand what I'm telling you about certain technical analysis about certain supply and demand zones, you will never understand how to really put in the work to do it for yourself. And you're going to fail. And that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand is that when you fail, that feeling of failure starts to turn into bitterness to, you know, everybody else. And, and it's, and it turns into like, you know, this, maybe this is not for me. I'm not lucky enough, or, you know, I need a better strategy. I need a better tactic has nothing to do with that. It has to do with your focus and your time and how you're using your focus and your time guys. I hope that helps you out a little bit here. 
Uh, I will see you guys all on the next video. Kind of, you know, trying something new here, making these these uh, videos, just, you know, kind of getting on talking about different topics that, you know, I really wondered about when I first started and um, hope I can help you guys out with my information and knowledge that I've picked up along the way. But if you did stay to the end of this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment, let me know how many hours a day do you actually focus and, you know, when when you flip that script from c cutting out anything that's going to drain or take away your your mental energy from from your business, how much did that benefit you? I, I'm real curious to hear, but I will catch you guys all on the next video.